Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back guys to another video. So guys, for today's video, I'm going to be comparing two plugins. One is a plugin that I got for $100 and the other is a plugin that I got for free. So I'm going to be making an Afrobeat with both of them and I'm going to let you guys be the judge. So make sure to watch to the end so you can tell me which of them is best. So before I get to today's video guys, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you guys watch my videos and not subscribe. So without wasting much of your time, let's get to today's video. Hey! So yeah guys, for the first beat, I'm going to be using the free plugin and the plugin that I'm going to be using today is called Ample Guitar M2 Lite and I'm going to be leaving the link down in the description so make sure to go check it out. If you guys need me to do an installation tutorial on how to install plugins in FL Studio, just leave that down in the comment section and I'll do a video for you guys. So first off, I'm going to set my skill. I'm going to use F minor. So I'm going to start with my root notes. Take this up. So guys, whenever you're using this plugin and you want to strum your notes just like this, open up the plugin and then over here, change this to keyboard mode. This is just going to enable you to you know, play multiple notes at a time. So I'm just going to uh, bring this down one more time. Shorten this. Bring this up. Shorten some of the notes, bring this like this, this, shorten this. <laughs> guys one thing i also love about this plugin is once you go up here like from the c7 and above you know it actually gives you a lot of guitar effects like slaps like this so for this i'm gonna do it like this do it like this but then i'm just gonna shorten it like this then i'm gonna take this up and then up one more time and i'm gonna uh do it like this so it's gonna make this effect that i'm just gonna repeat that like this put this right here and then i'm gonna hold alt r to randomize velocities and then i'm gonna bring all the volume down and then i'm gonna link this to the mixer ctrl l and then the only thing that i'm gonna be adding is rc20 and then for the rc20 i'm going to use this uh, preset called lush and crunch guitar one but then i'm going to bring the distortion down bring the space down so the next thing that i added is a guitar one shot called lamp i actually got this from my rhapsody one shot kit volume one if you guys want this the link is going to be down also so make sure to go get it guys and you know show me some support i added this and then i'm just going to go to my piano roll and then i'm just going to do something simple extend this out <laughs> copy everything and then i'm going to add a bass i'm going to be using uh still from my one shot kit i'm going to be using the bounce bass and then for this i'm actually going to do the same go to the envelope section increase the hold bring the decay so sustain and the release all down and then i'm just going to follow the root notes this 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 and then i'm just going to hold ctrl l to extend the notes and then i'm just going to copy this over and i'm going to bring the volume down i'm going to be adding a vocal phrase let's get something nice 
I'm gonna add this, but then if I do so, I'm gonna uh, put this to song, and then I'm gonna add this. And then this is actually C minor, and our scale is F minor, so I'm gonna take this up by five. And I'm gonna put this to stretch, and stretch this out. And then uh, I think I'm gonna be adding one more vocal loop. Uh, I think I'm gonna add this and then I'm gonna stretch this out also to fit with the tempo put this to stretch and then I'm gonna uh, actually already in F minor and then I'm gonna pitch this up 12 and the volume down but then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use only the first part like this and then I'm gonna delete the rest and then I'm just gonna put this right here so guys I think I'm just gonna quickly add some effect but before I do that I have to select all go to the mixer control shift plus L so for this I'm just gonna add the fruity parameters EQ just gonna cut out some of the lows add Valhalla vintage verb just a little bit of reverb add wider it's just widen the sound and then moving on i'm not going to add any effect to the bass i'm going to move on to i think this already have enough effect so i'm just going to move on to the last vocal for to remain eq over to this preset right here cut off some of the lows Add, I'm gonna add Valhalla Vintage Verb. Add reverb. And then I'm gonna add wider the same thing. Just to widen this. Then I'm gonna add uh, delay. Then I'm gonna use the ping pong preset. Bring the weight down. So guys, I'm done adding effects. I just rendered it out and I actually pitched it down to 300 cents. So this is the loop that I made with the free plugin. this is the moment we've all been waiting for this is a plugin that i paid a hundred dollar for well technically speaking i actually didn't pay a hundred dollar for contact you know contact is actually free but you know to get the libraries and the banks inside of contact you have to actually pay for some of them while some are also free too this is what i actually paid a hundred dollar for the Ilya fm of nylon guitar is what I actually paid a hundred dollar for and then we're just gonna you know make a loop with this and then you know we can actually you know get to compare both of them to see which of them is better and I'm going to set my scale instead of the F to this time I'm going to use G and I'm going to use this preset called solo 2 and I'm going to go over to the options uh, it has a little reverb so I'm going to bring down the reverb just a bit so I'm going to start by making a G minor trial chord and I'm going to take the middle notes up an octave then I'm going to strum the notes down to like this take this up and then I'm going to strum the notes still take this up for this part i'm going to come back down to to c take this up then i'm going to strum this here and i'm going to you know control b to duplicate everything for this part i'm going to switch things up i'm going to bring this down to d and then i'm going to take this up i'm going to switch this up to a c and f and then take this back up like this 
So guys, uh, moving on, I think I'm still going to use the same base. I'm just going to go to my one shot kit. How was that base? Yeah, I think it was bounce. I'm going to go to bounce. Do the same thing, envelope section, bring the attack down, increase hold, decay, sustain, release, all down. Follow the root notes. I'm just gonna hold Control L. So added this one shot mallet sound, and then I'm just gonna go to the piano roll. Still gonna go back to my one shot kit and I'm gonna go to the synth. I think I'll use this. And then I'm still gonna get a vocal loop. Wow. Try something. Use this, and then I'm just gonna stretch this to fit with the tempo. Put this to stretch. And I'm just gonna pitch this to the correct key. For the guitar, I'm just going to add RC20 and then I'm still going to use the Lush and Crunch to bring the distortion down. And I'm just going to play this. I take up the noise, bring the space down a bit. Guys, I'm done adding effect and I just rendered it out. And for this, I pitched this down 200%. If I play this for you guys to listen, this is the loop that I made with the hundred dollar plugin So yeah guys, I hope you guys really enjoy watching this video and I hope you guys learned a thing or two. So yeah guys, the reason I'm making this video is to show you guys you can literally make a beat with $0. You can go out there, get a free plugin and then make a beat. It's not the kitchen but the chef that cooks the food. It doesn't matter the type of kitchen but if the chef is good, the food is going to taste good. So basically, you can make a beat with any plugin, even with the stock plugins in FL Studio. You can definitely use those to make fire beats. I've done those. So yeah guys, that's going to be over today guys. I would like you guys to go down there in the comment section and tell me which of the loop you like most. And you give me your opinion on both of them and i'm going to join you guys down there in the comment section and don't forget to like this video guys it's going to help this video a lot it's going to help push this video out to everybody out there just help me guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe because you guys watch my videos and not subscribe and that's going to be it for today guys catch you guys in the next video i'm out of here peace